HunterElliotRangeHot.com. I am just shortly back from Gunsight in Paulden, Arizona from Colt Media Day. And it looks like finally Colt is answering the prayers of so many of their guess what? I was able to see and shoot the brand new Colt Cobra six shot revolver 38 special. Oh man. And I'm just, I'm busting it to seams to tell somebody, but I can't until January 1 for the NDA. So by the time you're seeing the video, the NDA has expired and uh, my blood pressure will have gone way down. Allison and I both ran probably out of a dozen cylinders through it, all being the double tap 38 special wad cutter. I'm gonna say it's about 15 yards. Accuracy was wonderful. To able to easily keep all six rounds, you know, in, in a six inch black circle all day long single action or double action let's talk about that trigger <sighs> probably one of the biggest things that people have been concerned about with colt reintroducing the revolver is is it going to stack up to the revolvers of colt of yesterday and uh yes it actually does the 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 double action pull was about eight pounds single action pull on that revolver was somewhere between two and three pounds I did not have my trigger gauge, but this is some of the data that I'm able to get from. It is rated for 38 Special plus P, but there's a lot of difference between this new Cobra and the original Colt Cobra. I'm gonna go over a few of the things now, but then all the specific information about that is gonna be on rangehot.com in the written article. So it does have an enhanced leaf mainspring that adds to some of that smoothness of pulling the hammer back, either single action or double action. The trigger guard is enhanced, so it is larger and it is moved back. So now if you're wearing gloves, you've got really large hands, you've got plenty of room to get your finger into the trigger guard, as well as being moved back with the factory hold over molded stocks. You don't get any of that finger bite on your finger in between the trigger guard and the stocks. It also has a user changeable front sight. There's a little Allen set screw right there at the muzzle. Pull that out, the front sight pulls straight out. Currently what I saw available was just your standard brass bead, which I believe is coming, as well as they had fiber optic and night sight there at gun sight. It was alluded to that this model is easily scaled up. MSRP is gonna be uh, below 700 bucks. Street price will be much better than that. All that information is current, you know, and it may change when the little revolver is released January 1, 2017. So anyway, I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm so excited about this little revolver. But I paid special attention to this revolver, not only between Allison and I shooting it, but a lot of other people there at Gunsight. And honestly, being a revolver, I feel like I got enough information from you know six or eight people that shot it to, to do a review. So I'm really gonna count this as a full-on review. You know, I can't tell you how many rounds was put through the revolvers that day, but I know it was uh it, it was probably it was several, several, several hundred. There were no problems, there were no misfires, there were no malfunctions, as you would expect from a revolver, as well as accuracy was excellent. My buddy Max with Colt was very generous enough to also provide me with several steals for the written article. Thank you, Max. You're awesome. Love you. And so anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think. I'm hoping you're as excited as I am to see the new Colt Cobra come out, as well as what revolver is Colt going to introduce next. I know I've got a couple in my mind. Tell me what you're thinking. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Look forward to seeing you on the range. 148 grain. All right, let me know. I'm ready. Good to go? Mm-hmm. So I'm pushing with this arm, I'm pulling back here, right, lean in, with I, the other. aggress, focus on that front sight, mm -hmm. that's what's sharp and clear, covering the area you want to shoot, get your finger on the trigger, clear to the first joint, mm -hmm. and then just make a steady mash to the rear, and do not look at the target after the shot breaks. Keep coming, keep coming, and get right back on that front sight, that's it, back on target. Keep that front right on target, don't let that gun push up, you're bigger and stronger than that gun is. Good push pull, steady mash, keep it coming, focus on that front sight, back to the reset. Better. Again, steady mash, look at that front sight, look at that front sight. Again, look at that front sight. That's your whole mission to fight this front sight. One more. Good, 